Hi there, I'm Heidi Nord with The Brilliant Dyslexic, and thank you so much for watching this video. We are going to be looking at some letters and how sounds feel in our mouth for this series of five lessons. So we're going to be looking at the letters and how sounds feel. And this one is called Lippity Pippity. But let me show you some of the other sound feel videos. This one is zombies. So if you want to watch this one where your jaw is going to go, ah, ah, then go to that video. We have say cheese, where you find out why photographers say that. And we have sweetie pies, where you will get to, if your parent or teacher lets you, taste some sugar on the tip of your tongue. We have sour lemons. And this one, of course, is lippity pippity. So let's go ahead and start. The reason that I chose lippity pippity is because a lot of these sounds happen with your lips. So when, um, when you make sounds, it's important to feel where they are coming from. Some sounds are from the very front of your mouth and some sounds are from the very back of your mouth and putting your hands on your cheeks is a good way to tell whether that sound is coming closer to your pinkies or closer to your index fingers back here. So the lippity pippities, your pinkies are going to feel those more if you put your hands on your cheeks. So the first one is the sound that goes with p, p, p. So if you'll notice, I have my mouth first closed here and then it opens up to get that air out. And this one goes with the keyword popcorn. P -p -p -p. And it's a lippity pippity because your lips are doing a lot of that work there. The other sound that it goes with is ba ba ba. So like we talked before with the copycats, and if you haven't seen that lesson, go see that one. The copycats are sounds that are exactly the same. So just like when you play with a friend at recess and they copy you, sometimes we call that copycatting, right? But there's only one difference. One sound is going to be a whisper sound, and the other one is going to be a mega sound, which is this one right here with the ba, ba, ba. So watch out for those as we go along. This next sound goes with ch, ch, ch. And do you see how the lips here look pretty funny, right? And then it opens up more. And this goes with the letter combination CH. So that one, if you feel ch, 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 is a whisper sound. And this one, the j, 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 if you notice, is the same exact mouth movement, except you're going to use a mega sound with the j, 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 because that one's a really big sound. This next one is So if you notice, you place your teeth on your bottom lip. And this card says fish. And the next one is the mega sound. It is the v. So it's v So the key word for this one is vroom, because cars go vroom, right? <laughs> okay, this next one use your lippity, uses your lippity pippities, right? And it's the mmm, mmm. And the key word for this one is mmm, 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 milk. Mm, mm, mm. And if you want to, you can even uh, write in the air, cloud write at mm, 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 in the air. The 
this next one goes with ooh, ooh. So when you see a double O, that means that your lips are going to stick out kind of like those O's do, right? Do you see how this is kind of in a ooh sound? Ooh. So make your lips like an ooh and then say moon and feel what that feels like for your lippity pippities. The other sound that double O makes is look, look. So if you see the mouth here, it's not an ooh, it's similar to that, but it's an uh, uh. It's kind of a hard sound. And I remember when my daughter was a year old, she would always say, look, moon, and she would point up to the moon. So I thought those were two words that go well together. Look, moon, because you'll find this sound almost as often as just the straight up ooh sound. Okay, so this next one, the picture here gives a hint as to what this sound is. It is or, or. So if you see, my mouth starts kind of with an O and that goes into an er, or. So O, R, or goes with orange and you can sky write that one too so you can say or with orange this next one is ow so do you see how with the lippity pippities I'm really puckering there and I have a band-aid on my finger there and I start with the ow so right here my lips are open really wide right ow Ow. And ow is spelled two ways with the O-U and the O-W. Those are the most common spellings. This next one is oi. Oi. Do you see how much I'm having to move my lips for that one? So that's why this is in the lippity pippity. So we have oi. And the letter cards that go with that are O-I, so O-I says OI, and O-Y says OI also. This next one is one of my favorite scents, which is a rose, so that er is the position the lippity pippities are in rows because they smell so good so this one goes with the card er 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 rose er 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 this next one goes with the eu eu so this one our lippity pippities go from kind of a a uh, say cheese sound e -u, and then goes into an oo so if you notice our lips say oo quite a bit in English right so that one goes with used because the beginning of you starts with a e u sound and this next one is the sound sh so sometimes if you go to libraries is one place I can think of, they often tell you to shh. So you can feel what that one feels like too. And that one goes with the letters shh, shh. And you can skywrite that one also. So you can skywrite shh, shh. And it's best if you can write it the same time as you say it and as you hear it. Okay, so that was the lesson with the lippity pippities, but look for the zombie lesson. And that was lippity pippities, say cheese, sweetie pies, sour lemons, 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope all of you have a really great day. This is Heidi Nord with The Brilliant Dyslexic.